Hi guys, welcome to another video of Rexer Automation and today we're going to talk about Playwright's all new feature which is nothing but the Playwright's Inspector. So this Playwright's Inspector is basically a feature which is going to let you actually record the action that you do on the UI and the code is going to be generated for you automatically. So we have already discussed about that in the course as well as in the YouTube videos like in the Playwright you actually have what is called as Playwright CLI which is like a command line interface, which is going to record if you just do like npx playwright code gen of any website uh, URL, then it's going to start generating the code for you if you perform any action on the UI. That's exactly what this inspector is also going to do for you. But the only change here is actually you are going to do this action using an UI based tool instead of the CLI tool. And there is another good thing about this is because you can actually uh, debug one by one line uh, like you have the full control while you try to debug the code and you also can see what is going to actually perform on the UI operation while you actually perform that debug operation pretty much like step over uh, in Visual Studio as well as the F10 in the IntelliJ IDE and things of that nature. So that's exactly what it is. So that's what we will be doing in this particular Playwrights Inspector. And also you can generate the code which has been recorded not just in JavaScript programming language like how you can do in the Playwrights NPX code gen option where in here you can actually generate in Python, in C sharp and also in Python as a async option as well as in JavaScript option. So there are like four different ways that you can generate the code. Java is not supported yet. Golang is not supported yet. I think it's coming soon as well, which is pretty cool. So these are the features that we are actually going to be discussing in this particular video, like how the Playwrights Inspector is going to change the life or make your lives much easier in terms of you writing the code in Playwright much, much simply. All right, so let's get started. So what we're going to do this time is I'm just going to open one of the code that I have already written in the uh, in the Udemy course, which is the uh, Playwright section six, which we can just open using this exploration because I'm running a uh, Mac uh, M1 and it actually has got uh, no code like code dart. You cannot do that because uh, there is a native version of Visual Studio code being supported. So it, you have to do this way. So this is the project which we actually discussed in the course as well. And the first thing which I have already did in this particular uh, in this particular code is I have updated the playwright from version 1.8.0 to version 1.9.1. .1. So this is the new feature which actually has got the playwrights inspector option. And once you have this, you can then just do this uh, npm of install. And once you do that, it is going to install the package for you. And then it's going to bring you up this, uh, this node underscore module within over here, as you can see. And once you have this, you can then start working with the, uh, with the inspector itself. And it, again, it's going to be very, very simple that you can assume. So what you need to do is all you're going to do is let me just clear this option. You just have to set the pw debug is equal to one and then a node of the data driven test.js file but before that let me just navigate to the data folder and then uh, the ddt folder and then we have this uh, command called as pw debug is equal to one node of data driven test.js file so this is the only change that we have to do so earlier we used to run something called as node of data driven test.js file to run the particular file but this time we have to specify the pw debug is equal to one because this is an like an environment variable that you need to basically set in order to run this particular option and once you do that and once you hit enter you will see all the magic actually begins so basically once you do that you can see that it actually spawns uh, the chrome browser for me at the same time, there is this all new Playwright Inspector. So this particular Playwright Inspector is now actually starting to run and it is waiting for us to uh, initiate this particular test to happen. So if I just run this guy, it is going to start resuming the code operation for you. Or you can run one by one line using the step over option that I was talking about. So you can just hit the step over uh, like it is going to run like one by one line. And the beauty this time is it is basically an asynchronous programming language, but we are actually executing this particular code as if like an 
uh, like a compiled programming language, like a no, uh, like a non asynchronous programming language, like a synchronous programming language, which is quite cool. And now I can just keep doing this, what this particular line is doing. And I have also added a new line here, as you can see, it's called await of page dot pass. So you don't really have to like do a step over each and every time. So for example, if you want to uh, hit the breakpoint at a certain point of time, you can also do something called a page dot pass. So the code is going to be stopped on that particular place, which is quite cool as well. So this is uh, like a debugger option, which is available on the node programming uh, programming language. That's exactly what it is, but they just call it as a, like a pass method. So you can do that as well. And once I just again step over, you can see that there is going to be a, like a red dot coming in and it's going to telling us that this is the operation that I'm going to be performing on this particular control. But you also can note that before it actually do that, there is also a sequence of operation it is actually performing for us even before clicking that particular operation. For example, you can see that it is uh, going to perform a click operation, but it is also doing wait for the selector, select or resolved visibility, attempting to click the action, waiting for the element to be visible, enabled or stable, uh, and then scrolling into the view if needed, done scrolling, checking the element, element does not receive pointer event and performing click action. So before it performs a click action, it is actually performing these actionability operation for us. So if you remember in Playwright, I already talked about this actionability. I've also written some article on that. It's also available in our course. So this exactly what's happening. So Playwright's actionability option is actually coming for this particular method or action before it actually is going to perform that operation on that particular UI, which is really, really cool. So we can actually see that this actionability command is being executed uh, as a, as a command in the console log that you are seeing in over here, which is quite good. And now if I just do a step over once again, you can see that it has clicked right now and it is waiting for it to be typed. And let me do a step over. You can see that it's typing the value for us like admin and then it typed the value. And then if I do a step over once again, it's going to click that and it's waiting for the next operation there. And let me just resume the whole code and you can see that everything is just going to happen pretty much like how it used to happen. The test is going to fail basically because there are so many data has been filled up and uh, you can see that a lot of people are using this particular site. So there is going to be like a bad data and I'm not worried about that. But the whole point in here is it is actually working for us pretty much like how we used to work with uh, the record and playback operation using playwright CLI, but just that this is an UI operation. And the other cool thing about this particular uh, this particular inspector is you can generate this particular code not just using this particular JavaScript but also using uh, using TypeScript uh, using a C sharp or Python things of that nature. So you can just hit a record at this particular point of time, and you can see that right now the code execution has stopped. But I'm trying to record some operation. Just, I feel like I have to record some operation, so I can go to the uh, employee detail. And then manage users uh, and then if I'm just gonna select a drop down something like that so you can see that all these operations are coming through for us uh, and I'm just gonna do something like a assign or something like it and then I'm gonna go to the employee list and if I see that you can see that this code is being generated and now I can generate this code directly on this error driven test.js file because this is just a partial code that I'm doing or we can also generate using a C sharp programming language binding which is quite good you can see that click async is coming through which is awesome and then you can also generate using the Python programming language uh, uh, which is asynchronous Python and then the normal Python without asynchronous operation so you can see that all these operations are also going to be coming for you on the playwrights inspector so this playwright inspector I think is going to be very very helpful for the beginners because it's just all the operation that you are really expecting it to happen along that it is going to generate the code in different language binding because the playwrights uh, CLI option is pretty limited with just a uh, generation of the code on the JavaScript programming language But this guy is now going to be helpful for you to generate in four different language binding Which is quite good actually three language binding But it is really cool to see that this is actually working fine as expected and I'm not surprised to see new programming language binding coming pretty soon to this platform because the playwright is 
really really going very massive and a lot of features are really added uh, into that particular uh, tool so i am not going to be surprised if there is something new coming up pretty soon so that's it guys this is about the playwrights inspector pretty excited to see uh, how this is uh, evolving and i'm sure that this is going to be an addition for you while you learn the course into test automation with playwright in my udemy thank you